Hello everybody, my name is Anderson Santos and I'm the founder of Cashew Birds. This is the part 2 of a 5 series videos that we're making to show you how to make vegan cheese at home, all the basics and the uh, fermentation trick that you need to prove your techniques. And if you haven't done that yet, we do have a book with all this material um, under books.cashewbird.com and you can download in your preferred language um, all this content material with photos on how to make your vegan cheese. So in this part two, what we're gonna show you is all the cultures that you have to use to make vegan cheese. If you get one of our kits, um, it comes with a lot of tools, but also comes with a couple of cultures. What are those? So the first one is the V-Zyme. This is the enzyme that we use to curdle the cheese. And then you also get a little package with the cultures for camembert, for blue cheese and for fresh cheese. The first time you see it, it might be a bit overwhelming. So let's break down and explain one by one what are those cultures. So if you think about traditional cheese, you have the milk and you have rennet. When you add rennet to the milk, it will curdle and then you can press the cheese and work the cheese. There is a similar way here in, in, in the vegan plant-based. The rennet, it won't work on, on the plant protein. So you need a different one. That's why you use this enzyme here. And this enzyme, what it does, just like rennet, you have the proteins. When you add the, the enzyme, the proteins will break down and start to bind together and create this structure where the water can come out, but it traps uh, the fat and some minerals and everything and makes this cheese curd. So if you think about um, almond milk, for example, you have a liquid almond milk and then this liquid, uh, if you add the, this enzyme and let it set for some minutes, you get a curd and this curd is what we call um, cheese in, in, in the broader sense. Um, and this is something that you need to be a bit careful when you're using, but it's nothing dangerous. Uh, what I do to avoid contact with my skin because it's an active enzyme is to keep it in a glass um, and then I just use a spoon uh, and it's a bit cleaner uh, to work with. Now let's talk about the three starters that comes with the kit. The first one is the mesophilic cultures. These are the bacteria that will ferment your cheese. The second one uh, and the third one are the mold spores so you can make camembert or blue cheese. What is this mesophilic cultures, for example? It's a mix of bacteria that will help to ferment the cheese. It will lower the pH. You consume the sugars in the milk and make sure that unwanted bacteria that are in the air, in your skin or anywhere, um, they don't grow onto the cheese. So you protect the cheese uh, from contamination of a uh, foreign organism. And some people have made um, cheese with Rejuvelac or probiotic capsules. You can use them. The only difference is that it tastes different. It will be a different res uh, end result. But in principle, they are absolutely fine to be used. So camembert and blue cheese are just a cheese with a mold on top. Um, so you need the spores uh, to start this cheese and to make sure only the good mold will grow. I want to say one last thing about the Vizyme because it is a product that um, you can't get easily um, in other countries except where, where we sell or in North America. So it's a product that is very specific uh, and you can't get at supermarkets or anything. So. How can you make cheese without it? Can you? Um, and yes, in principle, it's just curdling the cheese. Curdling the cheese um, guarantees that the form is, uh, will be held and um, that the moisture will be trapped, enough moisture for the fermentation to happen, but the excess of water will just leave. Um, and if you just make a cashew paste or something similar, um, it might be not enough moisture to get a better fermentation. The flavors won't be so uh, strong, but will absolutely work. Um, so it is, it's almost optional for some cheeses. It's just that you need to think how to curdle the cheese in a different way. So almond or soy milk, 
you can curdle uh, with um, lemon juice for example or with nigari only for the soy milk the cashew um, you could curdle a little bit just by making it a bit more acidic so there are some ways of creating a similar result but the enzyme will just make your life much easier uh, if you have access to it so in this part two we talked about the enzyme that we use to curdle the cheese in order to get a better fermentation and to get a better texture um, we also talked about the mesophilic cultures or other bacteria that you can use to ferment your cheese and if you're making camembert blue cheese you need to add mold spores so it will grow on top of your cheese and that's what you get at cashew bar but there are other suppliers that might have some of these vegan cultures too so i hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching